What's up guys, Johnny Glock here. You might ask why I'm standing all the way back here. It's because I, I don't know if my head is gonna get cut off or not in all these different mediums that this might be on. But anyway, today I am putting this video up and it's going to be a little game of chase. So, um, and what I'm talking about is grit, grind, drag, anything like that that you might be feeling from your firing system. I'm going to kind of comparatively diagnose it throughout every aspect of the gun. So if by the time we go through all of these things, it still has grit, then give it to someone else and make it their problem. <laughs> Just kidding. Look, this, this should do it. So I'm going to move in here. I'm going to uh, bend the camera down and we're going to get to it. So um, a lot of times you just have a grit feeling, you know what I mean? It could be in pre-travel, it could be, you know, we'll clear here, it could be pre-travel, it could be during the break travel, it could be as the gun is resetting, there's a, there's a lot of different places that you can feel that, uh, and it's annoying, and I literally just got off the phone with someone and troubleshooted them through this whole thing, and it ended up being the very last thing, but we got through it. So, um, first things first, you want to separate the slide from the frame and try to start isolating things. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And, you know, anytime you have this frame open, anytime you clean the gun, it's always a good thing to safety check. Okay, so I know here I'm solid. I know here I'm solid on the shelf. And, um, you know, you really can't, we're not, we're not dealing with the slide right now, so we're not going to worry about that safety. But anyway, we know, this is, we know this is safe. And this is exactly how you're going to do this first diagnostic. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna use your thumb pushing forward here, and you're gonna use your finger pulling back as if you're working the trigger. So you're gonna be going back and forth like this, and you can see the cruciform moving in the back. So that's the first thing. If you feel something going on, it'll be kind of like <laughs> scraping, grit, drag, or anything like that. Also, this, this should kind of freely move like that. See how that's just moving? If there's drag, and I let go of that like that. See how, see how it's pulling it back on its own right there. I'm not having after I disengage the safety. If it's pulling it back on its own, that's the kind of clearance you need. If not, that means your connector is a little too far lateral. And let me grab a housing and a connector here, which means I'm going to try to do this all in one video. I know I have a lot of this stuff disseminated on my YouTube channel. So that means that this connector, if you look at this angle right here, it is too far that way. So it is pinning the outside of the radius of the trigger bar, which is this. It's pinning that against the frame. That why, that's why it is not actually able to freely go back and forth like you're seeing. So that's the drag there. Now, if you're feeling a metal kind of a, a grittiness right there, as you can see where the radius of the trigger bar is abutting the connector, if that's even the right word, you're going to take your assembly apart and you are going to, you're going to inspect this radius right here, okay, which is the inside of this trigger bar right there. I'm trying to use one that isn't, you know, all shined up like the ones I have, so you can see. So, um, where's the pointer? You know, so basically you're looking right there on that edge. All right. That's the first thing. If there's any type of gouges or mars or high spots or anything like that, you're going to want to knock them down. I have videos about how to do that. You can do it with a Arizona stone, I mean, an Arkansas stone or a sandpaper or something like that. That's number one. Number two that you're going to look for is on the connector itself. And that's gonna be in this channel right here. If there's anything that's standing out like a like fouling or marring or anything like that, that is going to cause issues when these two pieces, and I'm hoping these camera angles are right, when these two pieces are interfacing, all right? That's where, if you are going like this, the grit is coming from, okay? There is some minutia that we can check, but most of the time, that's what you're feeling. There could be an issue going on in between the slide stop and the, uh, and the actual trigger shoe. Uh, sometimes, you know, the trigger shoe has a, a bunch of, uh, you know, carbon in it. So, you know, if your trigger shoe isn't kind of like freely going back and forth like this, that could be an issue as too. I just figure I'd throw that in there. That's, that's, that's minutia though. 
Uh, it's really hard to, to have that actually cause uh, a lot of grit unless your gun's like super freaking dirty. All right, so also what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to inspect the edge of the vertical extension, which is this part right here. If on that ledge whatsoever, there's any kind of marring or chowdering or, you know, uh, fouling or anything like that, high spots, you're going to want to smooth that out because that's something that could be interfacing with the firing pin safety and, and causing uh, drag issues or causing what uh, you might say is grind or, uh, you know, that sort of thing. All right. So that's basically when it comes to the frame. The kind of diagnostics that are going to tell you, you know, do I have an issue going on with this part of the gun? And so if you don't find anything there, then it's time to move on to the slide. Okay, so here's the slide. The first thing you're going to do, and I get this centered in here. First thing you're going to do with the slide, it's kind of like Princess in the Pea. You're going to take a tool or something like that, and you're just going to push up and down on the firing pin safety. If you feel... If it's hard to push down, your spring might not be centered in there. If it's gritty and grimy, then that's another indication that might need cleaned in there. You might be the guy that's, you know, no one told you like, hey, don't spray CLP all through. It's a 1911. A lot of guys do that. It gets down through the port and then the carbon starts to build up all through this area. So that's the diagnostic right there. All right. If there's something there going on, clean it, replace it, do whatever you have to do. You'll see later when I open up the slide. The next one is going to be the striker. You're going to pull back and forth on this piece. If you feel stuttering, if you feel grinding, if you feel any type of drag right here, then that is going to indicate that it is either A, the channel liner, B, the spacer sleeve or see something's going on with the cups, with the spacer cups, I mean the, uh, the, the spring cups. So what we're gonna do is get the barrel out of the way here. First thing we're gonna do is open this up and we're gonna take this out. And the first thing you wanna check for is to make sure that your spring cups, the end coil of the spring cups is not where the end, well, the, I'm sorry, the split in the spring cups is not where the end coil of the spring is because it'll look like this when you open it up. I'm trying to find the middle here. These to kind of create this for you. Almost there. You'll have something that looks like that. Hopefully you can see that. That's a, that's basically the offset. So it's a no brainer there. If that's happening, it's gonna scrape the inside. Once it goes inside this channel liner, there's gonna be all kind of issues going back and forth and back and forth inside your gun. And that's just not the environment you want for uh, smoothness. So so we have this out, all right? The, the next diagnostic we're gonna do is we're going to take out, before we start testing this, cause say we haven't found anything. If we did find a bunch of grinding, we would replace some of these parts, but I'm trying to go through this whole thing. And after every step, you kind of put the gun back together to see if, uh, you know, if what you're doing is actually working. So prior to me, you know, pulling the, this stuff out, I should have put it back on the frame. Sorry about that and tested it. So we're going to assume it's still there. We haven't found it. So after this is done, what we're going to do is we're going to reinsert this, the firing pin, and we are going to take out the plunger and the spring and the oh sorry about that we are going to take that out we're going to put our back plate back on i always like using these armors black plates for everything unless i'm shooting of course and we're going to put the slide back on and we are going to oh i guess i need the barrel <laughs> trying to move fast to make this uh you know make a cut off here so it doesn't get too long-winded for you guys so we're going to put the slide back on the frame and if you pull the trigger and it's completely gone then you know it was something going on with the firing pin safety okay however if it's still present then you know there's something going on in that firing pin channel so next or with one of those parts so the next thing you have to do diagnostically we're going to just leave this out we're going to open the slide up again And we are going to first, like I said, check the cups and we will 
quickly, I'm just gonna pretend I do it, change out the cups. Okay, you're gonna put it back together, pull the trigger. If it's smooth, yay, you, you figured it out, it's the cups. If it's still grinding and, or has any kind of drag, then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna replace the spacer sleeve. Sometimes right, I don't know if you can hear it, right in there there's a grinding that can happen over time. Uh, even if it's brand new, coming from the factory, there could, still could be some grind in this area. So you're gonna check that. Here's another one right here. So if you need to replace that, you're gonna replace it, put it all back together, is there drag? Is there not drag? If there is none, then yay, you, you solved it again. Last thing you're going to do, if it's still there after doing all this, it's going to be 99% of the time the channel liner. And remember, you're putting the slide back on every time after all these after all these uh, remedies. So for that, you're going to have to have an insertion and, a, and an extraction tool. I'm just using a 5 16 tap here and just going to go into it and see this really doesn't want to come out so i don't even know why i'm doing this i should just tell you about it okay so we got this out and next thing you're going to want to do is is kind of uh you know inspect it and see sometimes you can see more you know it's really matte and messed up in there so you're going to know that's what you need to change and what you're going to do is you're going to put a new one in and there's a bevel on these. It's going to be bevel first and always use the tool. Don't try to do it with a, a bolt or something like that. The tool is always the best. You may have to hit it with the hammer just a little bit to get it seated. After that's done, you're going to put it all back together. And 99% of the time, that is everything you can kind of go through with this gun to see if there is drag coming from the firing system in a functional way okay so if after that you still can feel it then honestly you know i've never really had a gun go past that uh, usually it susses itself out within one of these steps but i figured um you know i always try to make content pertinent to what's going on i had a customer i just walked him through the entire process it's because he knows glocks you know what i mean i was able to do that uh, a lot of guys don't have that. So this right here, being able to see this in this video form is uh, the reason why I did this today. So, you know, first safety check it and then do all these different functional checks to see where the grind or where the, uh, you know, just the drag or there's a couple other words. People say, hey, I'm feeling this or I'm feeling that. Um, also, oh, in a Gen 5, there's another place you have to check over the slim lines. And that is the clasp. Let me grab a... And that's gonna be the clasp. What the? It's gonna be the clasp inside here where the trigger bar connects to. So sometimes right in there and the spring of these, there's issues when it's going back and forth. Let me drop this down again too. Also another place you can check is uh, the spring might, the coil spring might come off here. That might be an issue. It might be slid, slid to the left or right with these, you kind of have to find some kind of implement to kind of, uh, you know, push this out to get this out and see if there's anything going on there that's telltale. But, you know, if you can't see anything and you put it all back together and, you know, the, the, the drag is gone or, this, or the cl clicking is gone or whatever, then you're going to know you found it. But that's it. I just wanted to, and that's the same thing with the slim line. I just wanted to give that little amendment there and I might've missed something, but I, I'm pretty sure I got everything for you guys. So, um, hopefully this, uh, has, you know, put some of the disseminated information into one video. If you're having any of these issues, even with the trigger of mine, um, you know, just go through this process of elimination and comparative diagnostics. And I guarantee you, you will be able to figure it out and make sure your stuff is clean um, because that's a big thing. People like, hey, I don't clean my Glock. You know, if you're, I don't know why it's grinding, but I haven't cleaned it in 20,000 rounds. Clean your gun. You know, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's one of those big offenses. So anyway, uh, that's, that's what I have to say today. I hope you dig it. Uh, check out my YouTube channel. You might be on it right now, Johnny Glock's The Persona. The website is www.johnnyglocks.com. You can hit me on an email at johnny at johnnyglocks.com or uh, text me or call me 941-376-4383. And uh, y'all have a good day. I'm out.